Good evening. It's uh, just a little bit past six o'clock. We're ready to begin the uh, work session for tonight's Board of Alder meeting. Tonight we're going to be uh, listening to the proposals that were presented in response to the downtown right now. RFP request for proposals. So, so I'm going to turn it over to Tom Cole, who's going to lead the uh, presentations on behalf of the city. Great. Mayor Board of Alderman, thank you for the time this evening uh, for, this, for this study session. On September 6th of 2013, a request for proposal was issued to the public seeking responses from developer-led management teams for the purpose of developing, designing, constructing, and operating a building project of 3.78 acres in the heart of downtown Raytown, the former First Baptist Church of Raytown space, also affectionately known around town as the Green Space. The intent of this effort was to identify a qualified development team committed to establishing an exciting project to serve as a catalyst in the further resurgence of our downtown. On November 8, 2013, staff received three vastly different RFP responses. After careful review and discussion, city staff has invited each of the three teams to briefly present their conceptual plans to the Board of Aldermen this evening uh, in the study session. The first to present to the Board of Aldermen this evening, um, we, we have three. One, the first is Car Bear Crandall Real Estate Group. The second will be the Raytown Main Street Association. And third is Flaherty and Collins Property from Indianapolis. Uh, basically, the, the structure of these presentations, they will move uh, relatively quickly. Um, the, the, basically, the structure of these, of these presentations will be a little bit about their organization or their development team. Uh, the bulk of their time will be used to discuss the concept that they're presenting this evening, the overall vision, if you will. And then finally, we'll have, and those two things combined will be only about 15 minutes. The remainder of their time, or the remaining 10 minutes of their time, will be question and answer with the Board of Alderman. Um, it's important to note that all the proposals that we receive are very conceptual in nature. Having only 45 or 60 days to respond to an RFP doesn't allow every, every question to be answered as they put their plan together. So there are a lot of what ifs out there still at this point. A few of the groups, uh, maybe all the groups, provided pro forma statements. I would caution against holding too much faith in those pro forma statements at this point. Simply being is, um, you know, for, for example, one of the one of the projects happened to be um, uh, heavy on the apartment side. Uh, it, it may get on down the road if, if you select that firm this evening, on down the road to where whatever number of apartments that they had vision casted maybe isn't realistic and they back off that number or they add on to that number. So because there's still a lot of variables floating, uh, I just ask you to, to, to be a little cautious of holding anyone to the financials and performance that they presented in their packs thus far because there's still so many unknown variables. Uh, again, tonight we're really talking about the concept. Um, in addition to the RFP responses, a copy of the of the initial RFP is in your packet and was made, made uh, available to the public prior to this meeting. City staff is seeking guidance from the Board of Aldermen tonight regarding the concepts presented by the three teams. If the governing body approves a concept, um, that team will proceed with a formal development plan including financial requirements. Uh, as well as a, a, a formal site plan. Staff will also work with the selected development team and legal counsel to establish an operating agreement or development agreement which will be brought back to the Board of Aldermen for approval once a draft has been created. Approval of the concept or a concept this evening does not imply a formal approval but merely an expression of interest sufficient enough to encourage the development team to pursue its due diligence in formulating a complete development and financing plan. In other words, <clears throat> After you hear the information on the three plans tonight, maybe you like one of them better than the others, maybe you like none of them, and we say let's go through this whole exercise again. Uh, but if there is a selected team, what we'll do is we'll, we'll the city staff will work with that team over the next few months, and ideally toward the end of the first quarter of 2014, we'll come back to this body with solidified documents, solidified costs, as well as if there's a finance gap, more than likely most of these projects would ask for some sort of assistance from the city. We don't know exactly what that is right now or what that gap would be that they would ask us to, to, to help fill in. Um, so basically we would work with those teams over the next three months to really put their put their plan together that says this is what the project we believe will do, what it will be, and what we might need from the city as well as what sort of return the city gets on those, those projects. So again tonight we're really just hearing about concepts and really looking for your guidance as to which concept you feel uh, would, would lend the most, most credence to redeveloping downtown and you know, better resurgence for downtown. So with, without further ado, we'll, we'll start with our first group, Carver Bear Crandall Real Estate Group. And uh, 